machines you're doing this to me. That's the worst thing in my life, I think. People pointing at machines like this at me. But I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time, and I would have a better time if you were pointing at somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. I've been practicing a long time. Yeah? I'm learning. I'm trying not to be shy anymore. Yeah, I know he does. <laughs> Put chairs around oh, and. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Pro Portsmouth, I would like to welcome you to the 9th Annual Market Square Day Weekend. It's a very special day, one that I think captures the spirit of Portsmouth, its history, its beauty, but most of all, its residents, friends, and visitors. Market Square Day is a day to enjoy all that Portsmouth has to offer, and we on the Board of Pro Portsmouth have worked long and hard in an effort to bring you the essence of this city. There is something here today for everyone, whether it is a selection from Winnie the Pooh for the children, a rag band for the younger generation, or a good old-fashioned square dance for everyone. The entertainment here today is just one of the many facets of this marvelous weekend. We hope that you enjoy the over 300 vendors who've set up their displays of crafts, delicious food, and exhibits. And don't forget, we've brought back the fireworks following tonight's concert in Prescott Park. But it doesn't really end tonight either. There's a Super Sunday coming tomorrow for super families, including a parade and concert featuring the Shaw Brothers, as Nancy's mentioned. Take the time to stroll through downtown Portsmouth today. This celebration is for you. Thank you. Before she sits back down, it has been a tremendous effort to be president of Pro Portsmouth. Not only does she have to try and control the animals of the board of directors, but it is a lot of work. It's many months of preparation to put together this Market Square Day, and we have a gift for you, and that's for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And a special thank you to her husband, Paul, who's right here in the front, for putting up with her. We are very fortunate to have on stage with us this morning the governor of the state of New Hampshire, His Excellency, the Honorable John Sununu. Governor Sununu. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mayor Keenan, Senator Rudman, Senator Griffin, Senator Griffin. Sorry, Ruth. Nancy Holly. There has been uh, in New England over the past decade or two a very significant effort to recapture and re really revitalize all those assets that served the region over the last couple of hundred years. And certainly what has happened in Portsmouth over the last few years is not only representative of that, but in my opinion, the ideal example 
of how well it can be done, how effectively it can be done, and how in doing it, it recaptures a sense of community that brings our citizens together and gives us an effective feeling and a link back to what was as a foundation for what we would like the state and the region and the community to continue to be. I really must compliment this city and everybody involved in it, not only for the breadth of revitalization, but for the quality of what has been accomplished. I think all you have to do is look around and see the extra pains and the loving care that was given to the restoration and improvements that have taken place. I had an opportunity to be with some of the other governors of the region in Lowell the other day, and certainly Massachusetts is very proud of what has happened in Lowell. But I really do think that Portsmouth doesn't have to take a back seat to anyone, and when we compare what we have done here uh, with the investment of resources that has come from within and the care and interest of the citizens, uh, I think we can be very, very proud of it. This is the ninth Market Square Day. I think this is a tradition that is here to stay in New Hampshire. I'm very pleased to be a part of it, and I express my appreciation to all of you who over the years have continued to make it, and I'm sure will continue in the future to make it one of the great summer events in the state of New Hampshire. Thank you very much. I just want to say we also have a token of our appreciation for the governor. Holly has another plate, a handmade plate from Strawberry Bank to present to the governor. And we appreciate him bringing the sunshine with him from Concord. It's very nice today. Thank you very much. out there. I will be very brief. You know, we've got a very popular state for people to visit. Many of my colleagues asked me about coming to New Hampshire and what they should see and what they should do. And I can tell you that one of my favorite phrases is, we have a small seacoast, but we have a gem on that seacoast, and that gem is called Portsmouth. Come visit it. And that's what I'm doing this morning, visiting with all of you in this celebration of the continued renewal of this great seaport Enjoy yourself today. Your committee deserves great credit. I'm just glad to have a chance to enjoy the sunshine, get out of the Washington humidity, and meet some real people. Thank you very much. We also have a plate for Senator Rudman, too, to welcome him to right. Portsmouth. Thank you. All right. And now the part many of us have been anxiously been waiting for, the annual awards for Citizen and Organization of the Year. And here to explain this year's awards, the chairman of our committee, Holly Young Air. them in their ritual of running to maintain their constant state of physical fitness. However, without much pomp, our military stewards have ever been present as active volunteers in our seacoast communities bringing the first formal sunset parade to New Hampshire in 1983, they annually bring a tear to the even the most modest of patriots with their parade, review, and formal lowering of the colors on the eve of Portsmouth's 4th of July celebration. They have assisted in the New Hampshire Special Olympics in Durham and have often shared their time, experience, and friendship with the Weevilos and Boy Scouts of Kittery on their camping experiences. They have been speakers in our schools for such events as career days, and we have saluted the banners of their passing color guards parade after parade. For countless miles, they have marched to assist in our celebrations and observance of holidays. They assisted with the visits of the tall ship Simon Boulevard, Gorshfok, the Eagle, the HMS Sirius and HMS Southampton, both in formal settings and the occasional sporting event. They have always been involved in community activities other than parade duty. They came to the forefront several years ago when their commander, then Major, now Lieutenant Commander, Donald Welch, preached an even heavier emphasis on community involvement. Their current commanding officer, Major Mark Goodman, continued this exercise of enrichment for our community and his men, despite their even intensified training program that is a part of their career. It is fitting that the Portsmouth Marine Barracks receive this award
from a community steeped in military history. On the field, in the field, and off, the men of the Portsmouth Marine Barracks stand as a model of commitment and service to country and community. Major Goodman. of harbor attractions through the Chamber of Commerce's Maritime Heritage Commission. He picked up where the original Tall Ships Committee of the City, initiated by Councilman Bill Keith, left off by initiating and being elected to the chairmanship of the MHC. He has penned volumes of correspondence with the assistance of Mayors Weeks, Foley, and Keenan to foreign governments, naval attaches, embassies, and consulates. Potential has been electric, generation, generating enthusiasm through hundreds of volunteers. And together with Major Mark Goodman of the Portsmouth Marine Barracks, he has been responsible for the initiation and perpetuation of the city's annual sunset parade. But his community enthusiasm has spread far beyond that. He has been deeply involved in the beautification of Sari Street, an initiator of the Old Harbor Restaurant Association, and an active supporter of the Seacoast Family Y. He is also an active lobbyist for the New Hampshire Hospitality Association, posturing the industry's concerns. His manner is often brusque or gruff, brisk or gruff, but he really does have a heart of gold underneath. And through his restaurants, he has enabled many college students the ability to afford their education. Kisses from maidens have metamorphosed a callow frog into a prince who annually also masquerades as the Easter Bunny, a jolly, roly-poly Santa Claus, and the dubitable Miss Sari Street Open. Fittingly, an ex-Marine, Pro Portsmouth proudly presents this year's Citizen of the Year Award to Peter Pierce Rice. First of all, Holly, there's no such thing as an ex-Marine. We're all former Marines. The governor just told me I should have shaved this morning. I don't know what to say. I'm just really overwhelmed. Uh, what makes it all happen is just people getting out there and taking an interest in this beautiful city. Uh, i just tell you a real quick story. A few years ago, I had the opportunity, uh, by virtue of an invitation from Santa Claus to us, kind of like that, as a little kid, just looking up and believing in just a real good time. executive director for the past two years and without her helping hand this year when we had to call her up every time we had a question we probably wouldn't be here and we appreciate it okay I'm gonna wait for the signal from uh, Grand State Race Services I want you all to get
Did you know that? And all the hot chocolate? I too? bet you had chocolate ice cream. <laughs> hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate. Hey, nice man. to see you. Bill Reef from Stratford Hospice Hi, here. Nice we met you. a year ago in proclamation for the National Hospice. Oh, all right. Okay. And How are things going? Doing good. Again. Oh, anytime. Just, just let us know. Yeah, things We'd are going well. Very busy. Good. Enjoy the day. You too. Nice to meet you. You can't leave the rug. Sure you can. We got you. so shy. I'm happy you've been happy. <laughs> and you're never back, you won't get her face, I'll tell you. Well, this happens to be one of my volunteers. Yes, he misspells his name, you know. He doesn't know how to spell his name. Well, he's been... <laughs> <laughs> Good memory. He's a great uh, guy, too. He has no vowel in his first name. Well, he's doing all right without it, I've got to say. Have a nice day. Good for you. Nice to see you here. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. I'm going to get your last